Revelation chapter 11 verse 12 And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them Come up hither And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud And their enemies beheld them Revelation chapter 6 verse 13 And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth Even as a fig tree cast in her untimely figs When she is shaken up a mighty wind And the heaven departed as a scroll When it is rolled together And every mountain and island were moved out of their places First Peter chapter 4 verse 18 And if the righteous scarcely be saved Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Jude verse 24 now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise power, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 15. But the righteous live forevermore. Immortality. Their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arms shall he protect them. So you're going to be crowned by the Lord himself, Yahweh okay? Yahweh Shah himself, he's going to crown you, and he's the right hand of the Father. He's the Father's right-hand man. He's covering us. He's protecting us right now. And ultimately, him protecting you is him delivering you from that nuclear destruction. So you don't have to taste of that second death. All right? And with his arm, which is Yahweh Shai, shall he protect them. You know, ultimately by beaming us up. Taking us up. Being received up into glory. And what can top that? What can top this salvation, man? Nothing. Nothing that this world can offer you can top this salvation, okay? So for those of our people that sold after this system, they're falling far short, you know? They sold themselves short because what the Most High is going to give us elect is going to far surpass anything that the human mind can comprehend as far as glory and power. Beginning with that salvation and beginning with that crowning ceremony that the elect will be present in. You will be in that audience. You know? You will be in that congregation. First Peter chapter 5, verse 4. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, who is the chief shepherd? Yahweh Shai. He's going to appear in those chariots. As a matter of fact, he's going to appear in that huge fathership. And that humongous cloud is compared to a great cloud or a great white throne, a great mountain. So when the chief shepherd shall appear, when Yahweh shall, shall come back, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. An incorruptible crown. You're going to always have it. And you're going to always have your position within the Lord's kingdom. Okay? This is what we hope for. This is what we hope for, man. Okay, so with that, Lord willing, you will edify it. We hope for that crown of life, man. And we got to fight for it. And some of us will be tested even unto death. We have to be faithful even unto death. Like it tells you in Revelation 2 and 10. Be thou faithful unto death. Be thou faithful unto death if you're thrown in a concentration camp. And you shall receive a crown of life. You know? Same thing the Lord said through the Apostle James in James 1 and 12, okay? James said it, but it was through the Spirit of the Lord, okay? So, we're fighting for that victory, man. Overcoming this world, all right? And a part of that is overcoming ourselves. Overcoming this flesh. So we can get that immortal flesh, that immortal body. Immortality, man, that eternal life. All praise to Yahweh, Bashan, Yahushua, Bashan, Makakudash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone. Peace and bless to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.
Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. Let's just buy on back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures uh, going into, you know, the trials and tribulations, you know, us Akiyam and Akwaf, you know, those of us that have been called into the marvelous light of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, the, the straight gate, you know, the, the trials and tribulations we're going to have to face in these latter days. You know, the, the affliction, you know, the, the insurrection, you know, the, the persecution. You know, but like scripture says, the servant is not greater than the Lord. They persecuted our Lord. So they're definitely going to persecute us. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, I just wanted to get into a few scriptures going into this to try and bring comfort, you know, to myself, you know, and to the body. Because as we know, you know, those of us that have been, you know, exposed to this truth, we understand that, you know, this thing's all about predestination. Nothing can separate us from our preordained lots. See? So some of us may be mortars in this thing at the end of the day, but guess what? That's not going to separate us from being able to take part in that first resurrection. Lord willing, we be of that precious number. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I wanted to get into uh, was the book of St. John, the 15th chapter. In the 20th, 20th verse, and it reads, the book of St. John, chapter 15, and verse 20, and it reads, Remember the word, and this is our Lord, Yahweh Shai speaking. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also, right? See? And <laughs> these, these modern day Romans, these, these Edomites, man, these devils, the, starting with the elites, they're going to persecute us, man. Why? Because we have the testimony. We have the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai. And this is why they're uh, transcripting the videos. Why? Because they're keeping our sayings, man. They're building up a case. But at the end of the day, they're going to lose. They're going to lose horribly. Because they can't do anything against this truth. And at the end of the day, they can't do anything to separate us from our power. They can't separate us from the, from the uh, birthright that we've been promised by our power. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. They can't take away the, the glory that we have to look forward to. At the very, at the very least, all they can do is separate us from this body. Because all they can do is separate our spirit from this body. <laughs> That's the very least they're able to do. See? But the point is, they're going to persecute those of us that believe in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Because this society is turning into a, and not turning into, it already is a wicked society. But this NWA, NWO is going to be the, the climax of, of, of wickedness, man. It's going to be the epitome of wicked. 
You know, laws are going to be draconia. You know, perversion is going to be running the muck. You know, this is what they want. You know, so those, those of us that believe in Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, we're not going to fit in. <laughs> you know? And there's going to come a time where we're not going to be able to try and blend in. Because as 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 we know, you know, those of us that are in this in this wise council, you know, they're going to implement that grain of rice. Which is going to separate those of this system and those of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. See? Let's get this word persecuted real quick in the blue letter. Uh, the book of St. John, chapter 15, verse 20. Strong's G, 1377. Dioko. Dioko. And it reads, Follow after, follow, suffer, persecute. To make, to run, or flee. See that? Put to flight, drive away. See, they're going to be in pursuit of us. We're going to have to flee, man. To run swiftly in order to catch a person or thing. To run after. See? <laughs> We're going to be fleeing from our wicked brother Esau to press on figuratively of one who in a race runs swiftly to pursue in, in a hostile manner. See that? Yeah, because he's going to be coming in with his military, man, and his militized police. See that? This man's, uh, he's going to put into uh, effect. You know, these wicked draconian laws that are going to activate upon uh, the time of martial law. To be mistreated, suffer persecution. See that? You get the point. To seek. Look at this. To seek after eagerly, earnestly endeavor to acquire. So they're going to be hunting us down, man. But guess what? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to be covering us in this day, man. What scripture say? The fear of the Lord. Those that fear the Lord, what? The angels encampeth around those that fear the Lord. See? So we don't have much to worry about. And those of us that these devils do get their hands on, right? And they shove us in these, in these FEMA centers, you know? Or, or undisclosed locations. What the, what the, what the scripture say? What did Yahweh Shai say? Let's go to um, what's that? Revelations, the second chapter. Let's go to Revelations, the second chapter. In the tenth verse, and it reads. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold the devil, right? Which is Esau Eden, the so-called white man. Shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. See that? Be thou faithful unto death. So to be faithful is to believe. <laughs> See that? And only those of the hopeful elect are going to have that faith. Only, the, only those of the elect. You know, Lord willing, we are part of that precious number. And we're able to, and we're able to strive to the end, you know? <laughs> Scripture says uh, actually says that strive for the truth until death. 
And Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai will defend us, man. So this is what we have to do. You know what? Let me get that real quick. Let me get that in the uh, book of Ecclesiasticus. Let me go to the Apocrypha real quick. The book of Ecclesiasticus, also, also known as the book of Sirach. Chapter 4 and verse 28, and it reads, Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. See? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is going to fight for us if we strive for the truth unto death. Let's get this word strive real quick. Let's get this in the Google definition. Strive. Make great efforts to achieve or obtain something. And what are we trying to achieve or obtain? Those crowns, man. We're trying to obtain our crown. That Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai promised he'll give to us, man. Revelations, the second chapter. I read it. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. See? So we are to strive for the truth. Let's get some similar words. Try, attempt, try. See that? Attempt. Make an effort. Do one's best. Go all out. Hey. Fight. We are to fight for the truth unto death, man. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shawa will crown us, man. Hey, Lord willing, we'll take part of that first resurrection. If the spirit's on you to strive for the truth until death, you better believe that you're part of that precious number, man. It will be known at that point that the Lord's dealing with you, man. And this is why we, we, you know, we have hope, man, even in death. Because ultimately, even in death, we cannot be separated. First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter goes into that. Those that die in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will be raised up first, man. And ultimately, this is why we have hope in our death. Let me get a quick precept. In the book of Proverbs... The 14th chapter. In the 32nd verse in the reads. The wicked is driven away in his wickedness. But the righteous have hope in his death. Why? Because of the righteous strive. The righteous is going to strive for the truth until death, man. See, those of the those of the whole four elect, they're gonna be faithful unto death. And Yahweh Shai is gonna crown us, man. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. This is why there's hope for the righteous in their death, man. This is why there's hope. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna be with us every step of the way. Regardless of how grim it may get or how grim it may seem. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to be there with us, man. He's not going to let any torment touch his elect. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. Those of the righteous have hope in their death, man. That's heavy. 
And that's why wisdom of Solomon. Let me, let me get another. Let me go back to the Apocrypha real quick. Let's go to wisdom of Solomon. This is why wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, says this. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 1, and it reads, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And there shall no torment touch them. See? Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai has the, has the ability, has the power to pull your spirit out of your body before you feel any pain, man. Or he can make you not feel the torture if you're being tortured. These are some of the mighty acts of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai that we know is possible. It happened with Stephen. When Stephen was being stoned, St Stephen seen the, 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 the power. He seen Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He wasn't tormented during that time of him being stoned. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put the spirit on him. No torment touched him. Hey, the same thing is going to be happening in these days, man. For those of us that may have to play the lot of being mortared and tortured, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to be dealing. I believe that wholeheartedly. Let's get verse 2. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 2. And it reads, In the sight of the unwise, they seemed to die. And their departure is taken for misery right those that have um afflicted us you know those uh those uh individuals that are gonna do the job to afflict those of us of the whole full elect you know they're gonna think that they got the upper hand that they you know yeah we we got them but at the end of the day what's it say verse three and they're going from us to be utter destruction but they are in peace. See? For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Because this is what we're coming into, brothers. Akiyam and Akwaf. We're coming into the time of immortality. We're cut, well, this is the end of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's rule, man. Second Edges, the sixth chapter in, uh, in, the, in the ninth verse. Right? Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. And Jacob's, Jacob's world is going to be the everlasting rulership. See? We're coming into immortality after this, brothers. Akiyam and Akwaf. This is it. See? For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai proved them and found them worthy for himself. See, we're going to be tried like gold in the furnace, man. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, hey, we're going to make it out on the other side. Fine gold, man. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. See, Jake's going to have superpowers, man. Jake is going to have superpowers. 
We're going to be on a whole different level in the kingdom of heaven, man. Whole different level. The 144,000 men, 12,000 from each tribe. Making up the one, mm -hmm. making up the governing body. Obviously, you got Yahweh, Yahweh Shai leading the charge, right? King David under him, the twelve disciples, and the one hundred and forty-four thousand making up the governing body. Hey, the one hundred and forty-four thousand gonna be on a whole nother level. See, that's gonna be the elite of the kingdom. Now, Jake is going to be leveled up, you know, Israelites in general, but hey, the 144 <laughs> and there, man, words can't even explain it. We can't even imagine. We just hope to be part of that precious number, man. They shall judge the nation. See that? Going into that crown. Right? Going into that crown, that crown of life. Right? We're going to have power because of Yahweh Shai. Right? Because of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. They shall judge the nations, Lord willing, with part of that precious number. And have dominion over the people. And their Lord, Yahweh Shai, right? Shall reign forever. See? Kingdom of heaven is going to be perpetual. As you, Akiyam and Akwaf, know. You know, so this is what we have to look forward to, man. This is what we have to look forward to. We have we have to look forward to is immortality, an everlasting kingdom, sovereignty, rest. See, we're gonna have power and dominion, man. Hey, but we gotta we gotta we gotta walk this straight gate though. There's a straight gate we got to walk before we get there. As scripture says, through much tribulation, shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. See? So through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, Lord willing, we can endure until the end and be saved even through death, man. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath will edify. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Sai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath will comfort it and edify. Barakate Yahweh, Barakate Yahweh Shai, 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 Kal Halalim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash, Shalawam Akiyam.